Generic greetings and welcome to Sim Airport. So, colour me confounding and call me Connor because I said in my recent preview that I wasn't going to do a series on this game and this is the first episode of the series so that comment was slightly disingenuous at best. Either way, the plan is very simple, build and manage an airport over the course of several episodes and hopefully not go bankrupt or have to stop the series because of massive bugs which this game still has because it's still in development and that was my main reason holding off on it but a lot of people want to see this and I'm enjoying it so we will struggle through. If you haven't seen my preview, I recommend you go and watch it because I explain the basics of the game. Essentially, you have to build and manage an airport, so the security, put all the restrooms in, uh, all the ticketing, all of the baggage management, build runways and different uh, terminals and stuff like that. So, Hopefully, we'll be able to build an airport on this entire area. It won't be a very big one, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We could always go bankrupt, or there could be a bug, or we just generally mess it up. We will see. So, first things first, this episode, what we need to do is get a bigger taxiway in, and then probably a, probably a hangar of some kind, and then get the baggage system sorted. I think that's the main thing. Now, we're not going to expand the building this episode, maybe not even the next couple, but we do need to get some of the basic stuff put in. So, let's just go over to Objects, and down, I will actually just type in baggage to be honest with you, and we'll get some baggage carousels and we're going to put baggage carousels in the left hand side here, we're only going to put the two in, and as you can see, they have an arrow going into them that that the pink arrow uh, specifies where you need to put the uh, into the the baggage conveyor, so that's where it goes into this one, and then they can claim the baggage there, so we will go to normal speed, and we'll let them crack on, so you can see there's ticketing and stuff as well, that's where we have people uh, like, check their tickets, or give them their tickets and then we will put their baggage on the conveyor belt and it will go out. We need to go to build and taxiway and build a taxiway a little bit to the left here and then we will probably go to a hangar and we'll build a hangar. So we've got large hangar, medium hangar and small hangar. Now large hangar is 84 grand, medium is 46 and then a small is 28. Now that one, the small hangar can only have one vehicle so I think a medium hangar is actually the way to go so we're going to put a medium hangar just there and that obviously is going to spend a lot of money but I think in the long run it's going to be worth it especially when you consider we're going to have a couple of gates along here. The idea is to get probably two runways, probably one this way and one this way, and then uh, go from there, I guess. So you can see we've got this placed. We will probably... Do we want to start checking people in? We could probably start getting some flights. Let's have a quick look at our airline interest. We'll just pause it for a moment. So we've got Aerotime, Afford Air, Pacific Airlines, and Aerostar. Now, Aerostar has a 57% interest rating, so we'll click on that. And we can see the planes that they have got. They've got four, five types of planes, in fact, but only four that need to land here. Now, we've got a 777, which is a fairly big beast, I believe. It's 400 passengers. We can't even accept that. You can see it requires a larger gate. The game's already um, holding that off. It says, no, you can't accept that. We've got a 767, which is 250 passengers. That is quite nice. And we've also got another 767 in the afternoon. So we're going to accept both of those like that. We'll go over to scheduling and we'll just check. I like to put them as early as possible. And actually, they're already... The on there so 4 to 5 a.m. and then we got noon to uh, 2 o'clock so that's fine we'll close that down. We could accept some more, but I think because we're still going for ticketing, uh, we'll probably leave it for now. Obviously, we've only got one security area, or rather, we've got one security zone, but we haven't expanded it, and we've only got one metal detector and one baggage scanner, so we do need to fix that sooner rather than later. So what I'll probably do is get the baggage stuff put in, and then after our, after our flight in the afternoon, we will then go ahead and do that, because obviously we don't want to go bankrupt, which is, you know, all bad. So we've got objects. Actually, it won't be in objects. It'll be probably in utilities. It's a bit weird that it's in different places. Um, you've got these things in different places, but whatever. We'll put the baggage carousel there. Actually, it's not a carousel. What is it actually called? It is called a baggage conveyor. Actually, just conveyor, but we'll call it baggage conveyor because that's what it is. So we can see we've got uh, X. We've got inputs in here, which is the pink color, and um, actually, it's not really. It's weird. Why is that? Oh, that's, that's shouting at us because we haven't got it connected. Yeah, inputs are not blue because this is outputting blue and then inputting blue there. I think it just means blue is where it goes to... Blue is outbound and pink is inbound. I think that's what it means. Yeah, so all of the outbound baggage, so from ticketing onto the plane is blue and then from the plane back to the people is pink i think that's 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 the main one so let's just connect up these up uh, connect up these up that's that's a sentence it's not the words in the right order but whatever and then we will have these run down and across and what is the best way of doing this i think reckon i think just probably that is the way to go and 
we'll cancel that bit there. Cancel project. Actually, you know what? I will cancel that again. I don't know if it shares if it has a polarity, so we have to have it in one direction. So I'll 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 sign, I'll sign like that. That should be fine. So we'll max speed it and we'll see how it goes. As you can see on the outside, we've got garbage uh, drop offs things. And I'm going to change this because I'm not a big fan of the way it's placed them. So we'll go over to zoning and we'll just get rid of. Actually, we'll just go to none and remove all of this stuff here. So we'll remove pickups, uh, drop offs, and garbage. So we'll get rid of. All Hang on, I'm sure I click none there. So we'll get rid of all of that. So we'll go for drop-offs. Uh, drop-offs. And we'll put drop-offs from here, essentially. And we'll make it 15 along. Was that 15? I think it was 15. It is... Oh, we'll call it 16. And then we'll say pickups. We'll go from here. And it'll be a 16er to there. And then we've got garbage, which we'll put down here. There we go. And we've actually got some... Uh, Nice little gaps as well. And we'll probably go for deliveries. And we'll put deliveries in here. Although we can... Oh, we've, only, we've already got one. So actually, we, we're going to have to remove our previous deliveries. I hope that doesn't... No, it doesn't. I was going to say, I hope it doesn't delete the previous stuff we've got there. Which it doesn't. So we'll put deliveries in the centre. So that's a bit better. So... What's going to happen is the work men and women are going to come along. In fact, it's uh, work women here. Yeah. Or gender neutral, whatever. I don't think the sprites really matter, to be honest with you. Uh, they're just working away. They're uh, running around and building the underground conveyor belt, which, once that's connected up, we should be okay. We'll click on our medium hanger, assign vehicles, and we're going to assign, in slot one, a baggage car. I all, I did assign fuel trucks, but I've never seen them fuel up. I don't know if it's a... I don't know if it's just not in the game or anything. I, I have no idea. But, uh, you know, we'll see. So, ticketing is in. We do need to do some queuing. So, we'll go to expand queue. Or, uh, is that expand? Yeah, it's expand queue. And from... Oh, where do you want to build it? I actually would like these a little bit further along now that I think about it. But it's sort of too late for that. So, I guess from here we will have to go... Um, can we do it this way? I think we can. Yes, this is... I think the best way of doing it that's the most efficient way I find and then what we'll do is click on that and then assign and then assign that one to any passenger this one assign to any passenger and then what we'll do is we'll put in another ticketing desk so ticketing desk and we'll put it in here and then we'll just let it crack on and we'll go over to staff place one unit of staff so they'll be able to do that. Obviously, we need to go to our utilities conveyor belt and build another conveyor belt. There you go. And that'll connect up to that. So that should be fine. So they are just finishing this off now. Baggage carousels are in. Uh, there are certain needs that uh, we'll need to fulfill. But at the moment, we don't have anything because there's no passengers. So, yeah, that's a thing. We could upgrade our runway to a runway light, which is... You can have night flights, essentially. It's 25 grand, though. So, for the moment, no. We don't want to bleed cash very early on. The idea is to, you know, not go bankrupt. Because that's a general sensible idea, I think. So... Uh, we also need to go to probably queuing over here as well, expand the queue, and I tend to have it like this for some reason. I don't know why, it just seems to be the way, of, the way I do it. There we go, and then that, because I don't want them going in there. Then along here I put some shrubberies or something. I'm going to click assign to and then assign that to there, any passengers. Uh, what I'm not a big fan of is that sometimes the assign is actually on the top rather than the bottom. And they've mixed up the destroy. Uh, like, the, 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 sometimes it, the destroys in a different order. At least, I've, 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 is, that, is that right? Assign to and destroy. Assign to destroy. Okay, I might be talking absolute garbage there. I'm sure destroy was on the top for some things. Uh, maybe it was in a previous one, I don't know. But I do uh, hit the destroy button for half the time instead of actually clicking assign, which is always problematic when you're trying to build something. Anyway, so... I currently got 140,000 generic units of currency, plus some change, naturally. Uh, times 5 speed and airline interest is 48%. So let's have a click on that. We'll go to aero time. See, we've got a morning and night flight. The M bar 195 is 90 passengers. Not bad. We'll just pause it a second, see what else we can manage here. The Boeing morning flight here is a 767, 250 passengers. We will accept that. And Pacific Airlines, that's a morning flight, but that's only... 19 passengers. The thing is, you get money for just the stuff turning up. So acceptance bonus is 260, and then you get uh, how much is it to 
how much is it for them to turn up? Uh, I think it's the same as a seven. I think it's the seven really for that plane. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. So you, you want to get more people, I guess. Oh, actually, I don't know. You probably don't want more people. Aerostar is one of the best because it um, gives you loads of money. Look at that for the pair new scheduled flight. But obviously, then you have to fuel it up. Do you want to accept that in the morning, the Beechcraft? Let's check our schedule first. You can see this is left a little bit of a gap between uh, these two here. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's not a good idea. Having a little bit of a gap does seem to work out. So we'll go over to uh, probably the... Hmm, Afford uh, will accept that afternoon flight and then Pacific Airlines will accept the uh, little Beechcraft thing which we can put Oh, it's, it's already put it there. That's fine. And it's actually already scheduled it pretty well. So that's fine. That's that's okay So putting them right next to each other I have tried and it does work But you will get now and again flights cancelled. So you obviously it's not something you want at all Anyway, we've got our other ticketing area put in and we're going to go to expand queue on this one and we're just going to go straight down like that. And the reason for that is we want to click on assign to this queue but only first class. So this is essentially it's a pay to jump all this bigger queue. So that's a thing. Uh, we also want to probably go ahead and put in some ticketing um, kiosks I think is probably the way to go and I'm gonna put them like this just three of them like that because what I'm gonna do eventually is I'll actually go to zones and remove and I'll remove this zone here because this is eventually going to be a probably either a cafeteria or most likely most likely it's going to be a kitchen and then we'll have a cafeteria around here so that's probably what we're going to do Okay, so what haven't we got? Well, it's not very nice, so we will put some decorative bushes in, although I, oh, I was going to put them around there, but it looks like I can't at the moment. Although I can put them here. There we go, put some nice decorative bushes in. And people are actually walking around the queue. Did you see that? That's a bit weird. Anyway, people are coming in. Let's have a quick look, and you can see people are, yes, they are getting ticketed. Very, very nice. And then they are walking around and out, and then going through security. Excellent. And then obviously they're going to stand around here. And that person's on their laptop just standing up. Fine. Right, let's just go to objects and decorative bush once more. I'm going to put these in here. What I'm also going to do is go down to our flight info display. So passengers use these boards to find out information about their flight. Okay, so I think that's useful. What we'll do is we'll put it... Um, I would like it right in front of the doors. I would actually like the doors a little bit further down, which I could do. I could remove the doors. It's just going to cost a fair whack, and I don't want to do that. Maybe maybe reducing the size of the queue is in order. But by the look of it, my people going round. Do you see that person there? That passenger just jumped the queue, just went right to the front. How rude. But there you go. Look at all that. Lots of baggage. Lots of passengers. They're all standing up at these ticketing bits as well. Oh well. So, we will have our first flight very shortly. I believe it's the 4... Is it the 4am flight? It is the... It is the 4am flight. There you go. The Aerostar 9155, which is a Boeing 767. 250 passengers maximum. So it should be turning up any moment. Well, in an hour, actually. So... Do we reduce the queue, or do we not? Or do we move the door? I reckon move the door is the way forward. How much is the door? Door is 2,500. So I'd have to remove the door. And bring it down a little bit. Let's destroy the door. And destroy, destroy both doors, actually. And I'm going to shrink them right down. And I think I'll probably put them about here. At least two down. And this one really needs to be about there as well. So they're probably both doors are going to be next to each other, essentially, which I don't think is a big problem. This one really annoys me anyway because of where it is. Uh, I think... I think... Um, do we need two down? Two down. Yeah, I think two down is fine. And then this one, we want at least a gap of two off that side, so there. And then we've actually got one in the center if we really want it. Like, do we want three doors? No, because then you can have stuff in the center if we don't do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, go over to build, and... It's not in there, apparently. Is it? Oh, there, yes. Well, there's walls. Okay, yeah, the walls. So place the walls there, three of, and two at the top there. Job done. Okay. And people are already taking ages to go through security, so we do need to 
<coughs> increase the size of that very, very, very quickly, I think, because it's not working. Well, it will work, which is working very, very slowly, and people are taking absolutely ages to get through this thing. I don't know where this plane's going, but I'm, I'll be honest with you. I think it's there's some mixed passenger dress code going on. Some people are in big fur coats. Some people are in just business uniform. There's people in hoodies. There's people in just random t-shirts and um, blouses and stuff like that. And they've got uh, different pants on and shorts and uh, skirts and things like that. So I, I don't know where this one flight is going. Oh my god, it's actually filthy. Oh, we've got a plane coming in. Hang on. It's coming from the right by the sound of it. There it is. Hey! Our Boeing 767. And it didn't crash, which is always an advantage. So we've got some terminal usage and some runway usage bonus. Well, some money. Excellent. We've got income. And everybody's stuck at security. Yep, we need to expand security as fast as possible. So, foundation. And we're going to clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy. And build foundation. You know what? We're going to build it all the way to there, which is a lot of money. Do we need it that big? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. I'm not convinced we actually need to increase the size of this. We could probably fit two security desks in this. Mm, no, you know what? I am going to expand it. I am going to expand the size of this. I think it is worth it. Um, I would really like to build it along to here. But it isn't going to happen. So... Um, there. Okay. Now, this will temporarily break the game. Because once they build this, because it's not got no security fence around here, this is then no longer in secure area, which means it won't work properly. Which is a problem, after all. So, I assume the baggage is working. Uh, baggage car is in. Uh, the question is, do we have enough staff? I'm going to hire some more staff another janitor and that should do us for now see so yeah, look at all the people standing around nowhere near enough security nowhere near so we'll go over to zones security and we'll obviously we're going to expand this like so that's all one place now we'll expand that as well and then for some reason the game doesn't get rid of that little bit of wall but we will do uh, that bit of a uh, wall there which then doesn't do the foundation which is really really weird is that classed as indoors I really hope it is uh, it will be now <laughs> once I order it to be and then it puts a wall there I think I, ah, I think you all right I cleared it rather than yes I cleared it rather than no I demolished it rather than cleared it that's correct yes because if you completely demolish it, it deletes the foundation as well, which is obviously something you do not want. Okay, so this is security working uh, problematically. Uh, let's go to our objects and security. It won't even be security. It'll be, what is that item? ID check stand. And we want at least two more. One and then two. And then we want a metal detector which we'll put in one there and one there and then hopefully we can fit in scanners. Uh, one scanner, two scanner and that is my... Oh, there we go. Look, they've walked off. They've missed their flight. Yep. I have pissed so many people off with that one. Oops. Oh, well, let's just... Well, thank you for flying budget airlines where we don't care and um, go away. Essentially. Just hiring more people for security. And there you go. So we've got loads of security staff, but um, hopefully it'll be okay now. Oh, there's another little plane. He's in. Oh, that's a little cute plane. Looks like it's a prop. Oh, actually, wait. I don't think that is a... It is a prop-driven aircraft. Is that a prop? Yeah, it is a prop-driven aircraft. You can see it there. I thought there was two props on it, which would be like a turbo prop. Which is different from a... Prop driven aircraft, as in an engine attached to a prop. Turbo prop is a jet engine that spins a spins a propeller or two propellers rotating ro rotating in a counter one in a clockwise and one in a counterclockwise direction. So you don't get like random centrifugal force that messes the entire thing up. It's complicated, and I don't I don't, I don't claim to know every everything about it or much about it at all. But uh, yeah, I just know that they exist. But there you go. Whee! 
It's flying off. Lovely jubbly. Right, passenger satisfaction is 94% because it only mes me uh, message. Uh, it only uh, counts the st st statistics over the passengers in your area at the time, in this in this place at the time. So if 100 passengers leave pissed off, it doesn't affect, as far as I can tell, your overall rating as an airport. So yeah, that's something that they hopefully will fix at some point. And why is there so much garbage about? I'm guessing that's my problem because I haven't got any bins. So let's put some garbage bins in because it's absolutely filthy about this place. So we'll put some garbage bins in here and in here. And that should probably do the job, one would hope. There we go. Right. I'm also going to go to zones and non and remove a bit of this baggage stuff here because we don't need it as big. I also do want to put the flooring in because the flooring is different around here. But uh, yeah, it's going to take some time. So is there any seating? Uh, seat, mm, bench. Oh, there is a bench. Excellent. Well, that's something that I really need to place sooner rather than later. So what about a bench just essentially, essentially all the way around the bottom here? I don't think there's anything wrong with just benching the entire bottom part of this. There you go. I would like a really big waiting area, but we just don't have it. But we'll speed up to max speed and we'll get people through here. Uh, looks like there's a lot of ugh, muck to the bottom there. Yeah, people are now sitting down. That's good. And more stuff turning up. Oh, look at that plane! That is a beauty of a plane. I mean, it's a salt on the senses looking at the colour of the bloody thing. But, you know, it's it's okay. It's alright. And it's coming in. And... Taking its sweet time, but... There we go. And it's all docked up. And now we're going to get a lot of people coming out of the plane, I'm guessing. When the door opens. Yeah. Oh, no, no. The door doesn't even open, so uh, that's a thing. <laughs> As I said, the game is heavily in development so you're going to get loads of these little things it's still quite fun and you can see like a lot of the systems have they've put in place like all the carousel stuff and you know the plane scheduling it's all it's all there it's just nowhere near done but the fact that they've got it implemented in some fashion means the game just isn't promised it's not just like well we're going to do it eventually well they've actually got it in uh, and you know you can only go up from there i guess or go nowhere hmm I know a couple of people did have, did have criticisms with the game, um, looking at it, saying, oh, it's not very complete. Well, you are right, I guess. Uh, people saying it's overpriced. I don't normally, like, go for the whole, is it over underpriced, overpriced? I don't really comment on that because, at the end of the day, it's really down to yourself. Like, how many, how much do you value your time? How much is it worth? How much would you spend per hour? You know, um, but in this case, for very early on title, and it's, like, nearly 20 quid, yeah, I can actually see it. I can, I can happily say that yeah it probably it, it is I, I don't think I can honestly say yeah it's it's perfectly priced I think it is a bit overpriced maybe but as I said it's down to personal preference and your choice whatever you're happy with you don't have to justify it to anyone just uh, make sure you're happy with it yourself anyway there's a lot of people waiting to get on here hopefully this will they'll go are you actually going to get on the plane now um, there we go Wow, that's a lot of people on the plane. So are the rest of these people waiting for the next plane? There must be. There really must be. Hmm. Maybe we will... No, no, they are just waiting to get on this plane. It's just a case of the... the, the... I think it is just a case of the queue weren't big enough. Yeah, the queue wasn't big enough. Okay. I think we'll alter that queue then. We'll go to queues and shrink queue. And we'll just get rid of all this queue here. And we'll just increase the size of the queue. That is a solution. Oh, hang on. That is a solution, I feel. There we go. Uh, a lot of people were also talking to me about, uh, or mentioning in the comments, uh, about another game very similar to this. Uh, it's not yet out as of the time recording, but I have got my eye on it. I think it's called Airport CEO. And again, it's this sort of two down build an airport type game. Why did those go as ARG? They said ARG and then they've left. I don't know why. Were they wanting to get on that flight? I mean, maybe, yeah, they've, they haven't missed the flight. According to this, we've got runway usage, we've got other stuff like that. We haven't... Yeah, we haven't actually um, missed any flights. I just don't know why they left. That was a bit weird. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's Airport CEO. It's very similar to this sort of thing. Uh, very prison architect-y. Uh, I don't really like to use that term because obviously it didn't... 
you compare it to games like Prison Active, but then you you actually say, well, actually, that game was based on this, and then you go down, and it's like you find you eventually you find Genesis, but you know, <laughs> you're comparing it to stuff that's like relevant at least, at least. But yeah, um, they've even said that you know it's. It, it does draw from that sort of uh, game, and they're very similar, these two. That one does look a bit more polished, I must confess, so I'm definitely going to be checking that out when it comes out, so no problem at all there. So, still waiting here, and we can't do anything at the moment because of night time. I'm going to upgrade our runway to runway lights, which is 25 grand, but that means we can run uh, flights at night, which is very, very important, actually, because, well, if you don't have it, essentially, there's, I think it's 8 to 10 hours, you just can't schedule anything. Is it? Or it might be... It might only just be midnight. I don't know. Either way, it is... No, no, it's now. It is now, I assume. Uh, let's go to Aerostar. We've got some afternoon flights. We don't want them. Aero Time. We've got a night flight there, which is a R uh, CRJ900, which is a... 75 passengers max. Uh, there's an afforder 737, which is 140 passengers. Let's accept that. Pacific Airlines doesn't have anything. Aerostar doesn't have anything. So we could probably go for two night flights, and then we'll just check our scheduling here. And we can see that it is... Let's put it from 6 till... Oh, so night time is 6, apparently. Is that correct? Um, afforder acceptance bonus. There's a afforder. Yeah, so apparently, night time is 6 o'clock till... I'm guessing 3? I'm guess well, I'm guessing four o'clock is where the cutoff is. That's just weird. Also, if that is the case, can I drag that all the way over to there? Uh, no, because it doesn't scroll that way. Oh well, I guess it's stuck where it is then. So we'll max speed it and we'll see what happens here. Still bleeding cash like a bouse, which is not good. One thing we haven't got is a. We haven't got a flight info display, which is something people will use when they come in they will look at this and say right is my flight uh, like left or is it already is it early you know I like to put it right in I actually like to put it that way because you know you can actually see the thing I guess I'll put them ideally you would put them on the roof about here so when they come in they can check but uh, we'll put them there and we'll see, see what happens so max speed here two o'clock we'll build that uh, what happens is you get an overall uh, person requirement so if we can we can mouse over them and you can see they have environment bladder cleanliness bottom and frustration needs but if you go here you can see there's even more so it's look at that it's it's got <laughs> needs bottom needs blah, blah blah right so it's bottom frustration cleanliness bladder rest hunger information and environment so 97.69 percent satisfied that's why our flight information display will hopefully do so there's our security desk Looks like people are going through it, no problem, and then sitting on the bench, which I'm very happy about. So this is our secure area. Essentially, you have to have a secure area for your um, airplane gate and the and the runway. If you don't have that, then the th then the thing ceases to function entirely. But oh, there we go. There's people coming around here. Uh, it does take, according to this, about 12 minutes for people to get around this queue. <laughs> Oh well, it is what it is. But this is our morning flight, and it is... Well, it looks like it was sorted. Looks like it would... Uh, looks like everyone's getting on the flight, which is fine. And then taking off. I wonder if these are going to miss their next flight. Oh, no, no, that's probably for the next flight. Um, we're going to assign vehicle and add slot 3 a fuel truck, because, well, I'd like to use... I've placed a fuel truck. Let's see if it actually does anything. Like you say, I've never seen it do anything. You can see the baggage car coming out and putting it on the baggage area and then it puts it on the carousel. And lo Oh, look, we've got some lost luggage. Maybe it's been sent to a different area. Maybe the person just forget forgot to pick it up. Oh, look. The baggage is going to go around forever. Actually, that says four objects on there. Oh, well, that might be stuck for the remainder of the game. <laughs> is it? Um, no, no. It was that guy, apparently. Wow. He managed to... Hang on. I'm sure that guy's just got off this plane. Does that mean that he sent his baggage on the previous 767 flight and then came on the Beechcraft 190? Most likely Alpha Game is Alpha. Anyway, I'm going to pause it and leave it there. Not a bad first episode at all, I feel. We are... Uh... 
actually doing okay. Total is 16, uh, 17,616 generic units of currency. And that's estimated based on all of the flights being full, zero cancellations, zero delays, etc. Uh, staff expenditure is a total 10,000. Uh, flight income, 28 grand. So profit is 17 grand. So we are actually making money. So that is good. However, if we get cancellations, which can be due to you having airplanes too close to each other in terms of the scheduling, then that will quickly go down. And also, we need to make sure that we're not taking too much on. The passengers have their needs met, things like that. So we've got a lot of ways to go. We've got a couple of things for the next few episodes. We need to build another airport gate, but it's probably going to be a bigger gate. But we'll see how that goes. We'll have to have more ticketing if we do that. We'll have to have a kitchen and cafeteria where we can sell food, drink, uh, things like that, other nutrients and beverages. Also, we need probably some staff officers to then start doing some research. Yeah, it's going to be mm, quite a while before we uh, get anywhere near what we would consider complete. Not that this is a complete type game. It's just play it and enjoy. And hopefully the game doesn't crash out or we fail. Either way, the planes are taken off. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.